Welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, your home for hacking news and education. In this video, I'm gonna cover a power virus. I'm gonna cover this virus flames computers. It destroys computers. So I'm gonna talk about what it is and how it works overall. So let's start. What is a power virus? A power virus is a piece of computer code that forces a CPU or GPU to run at maximum power dissipation. This generates a large amount of thermal energy with the aim of causing the processor to run at or above a temperature that exceeds the thermal design power TDP rating. That's weird. TDP is used in chip design to specify a level of heat that the cooling system should be able to handle while under load. It's sometimes referred to as thermal design point or thermal design parameter. A CPU with a TDP rating of ADW would be expected to output ADW of power as heat under load. Damn! Many users will never hit the rated TDP value outside of every intensive operations, which is where power viruses come in. Power viruses are also known as stress marks, like a benchmark or stress test, except instead of measuring performance, they measure a processor's ability to handle stress. Bro, what are you talking about, man? They, um, these are used extensively as a sort of torture test for processors by hardware designers, the press, and overclockers. Tom's Hardware has an excellent guide to stress testing CPUs and PCs with software that would qualify as a power virus. These tools allow you as a user to retain control and stop at any time, whereas a power virus induced by malicious code has no off button. No way. Power, power viruses can cook your machine. The ultimate goal of a power virus is to generate enough thermal energy to put the system under serious stress. Over an extended period, this will result in a huge amount of heat being generated which could cause permanent damage to hardware like the CPU, GPU, or the motherboard. The more effective the cooling solution, the longer a computer can be expected to operate under the power virus conditions. Even if the heat output isn't enough to damage the CPU or GPU, the amount of heat generated can circulate in the case and lead to problems with other components. What? So that overall is what a power virus is. Did I leave, did I leave anything out about the power virus? Is there anything else you would like to know? Please let me know. I want to hear your opinion. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.